it's a good win for us. Uh, it's a really good team, and you know, for us to uh, finish off a, a tough week, probably our toughest week of the season, you know, in terms of opponent. When you look at last Monday, we're playing home against Notre Dame, and then on the road against Syracuse, and now home against NC State, and um, so just really pleased to go two and one in that stretch, and. Um, get another quality win. Um, our team just keeps growing, they keep improving, they keep getting better, and um, wasn't perfect tonight, but um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of how they executed and um, handled the run there in the second half and were able to finish it off with a win. All right, open it up for questions. Hey, yeah, Andrew, can you t talk about the beginning of that 11-2 run at the, at, at the beginning of the game? Well, um, I thought we were much more locked in defensively uh, than we were in the first meeting over there. And we had talked a lot about the start in the sense that they had kind of jumped on us over there and, and we had wanted just to play better. I, I couldn't script it like we would jump on them, but I uh, hoped that we would be sharper, a little more disciplined. I thought we were to start and then um, just executed you know, our actions early on that, that gave us a lead. Obviously, your team, we all know your team's like to run, but it seems like today there was maybe even more of an emphasis on that than, than usual. And your team, it was get the ball and go in every possession, it seemed like. Well, we feel like we have multiple ball handlers out there at any given time, and um, they have the freedom when they get the rebound to go. We don't have to wait for the point guard. Um, so, you know, I thought our pace, yes, uh, in the beginning was really, really good, and uh, obviously, uh, T, Ashlyn, Reagan, um, even Jaden uh, is able to, to push the pace and um, we're just better when we run. I mean, we're a better offense, more efficient offense when we get out in transition. And they only had one assist in the first half, um, six for the game. You talk a little about that. We said his team played with blinders on, but you guys had something to do with that. Can you just talk about that? I mean, listen, they're a really good team. I was worried you know, for the last couple of nights, how we we're going to guard them. And they have so many players that uh, are, can be explosive at any given moment um, that can go for 20 or 25. Um, so I think for us, it was just try to limit the quality of looks that they got, try to be in their face as much as we could, um, not let them get too many open shots, and then try to limit them to one shot, which we didn't do great at. They got 13 offensive boards. I thought you know Baldwin really bothered us with her rebounding and her size and her strength in there, and she did a great job. Um, but uh, you know the we just want to make people make tough plays, and and um, if they're capable of making them, then you know you just congratulate them and say good job. I mean that's the game. Um, they they certainly have a, a talented group. You mentioned uh, back in the game, back in Reynolds, that this, you, just how young a team you don't have. But this today, Mayor had a freshman, the early score. Donovan had six, point, six, six rebounds and three steals. Just how do you describe the, the evolution of those young players as the season's gone along? Yeah, they've just grown right before our eyes. And they've been able to, um, through the course of a really challenging schedule, it's not easy to grow in the midst of the ACC. <laughs> Because um, you're you're getting your your head beat in so you know almost every night, and it's hard to navigate when you're a senior. I mean, it's hard to win in this league when when you're experienced, let alone young. And so, um, you know, listen, like we we're playing a lot of freshmen, we're playing a lot of underclassmen. I have eight eight of my eleven are underclassmen. So, um, what they've been able to navigate, I'm just really proud of them and how they've continued to chase growth through the year, even when we, we would lose a game, they would come in, practice the next day, just fired up and ready to go, ready to learn, they're very coachable, and um, so they're, they're reaping some of those rewards of just staying coachable and playing hard, um, you, you get better. And I felt like if we could you know, stay positive, keep improving, that we'd be uh, a team you know, in the postseason um, that would be hard to play against. Uh, I don't know that we're there yet, but I think every week they, they keep showing signs of growth. Coach Kennedy told us that the first thing you guys were going in practice is defense. You tell us a lot that you want your team to be defensively minded. Uh, what's it like with 8 of 11 underclassmen finally maybe buying into that and understanding and realizing what happens when they do the things that you ask them to and the way they can come out and win games like these? 
Yeah, I mean, the great thing about this group is that they bought in from the beginning um, to, to whatever we've asked them to do. And that's just the type of character they have and um, the type of coaches they've had, the type of parents they have um, to be able to come in and, and just want to do what they need to do to help the team win. And, yeah, I mean, we, we place an emphasis on it um, in terms of um, it's the one side of the floor you can control more than other, more than the other side. And so, you know, you can't control whether you make shots, you know, but you can, you can control how you play and how you defend. And, and, and our players have, have bought into that and bought into each other more than that. That's the thing that makes, um, you know, me really happy as a coach and smile when I observe them. I smile a lot when I'm observing them because they, at the, like, they've really bought into each other. And that, more than anything, is more important than buying into a system or buying into even the coaching staff. Like, do they have incredible buy-in with one another because they want to win with each other? And that's, that's awesome. I mean, that to me is like the pinnacle of, of team and why you coach team sports is to, to get a group that really um, just wants to do it for one another. Uh, State got a lot of their points off of free throws early. Um, that's been something that has kind of hurt you guys a little bit this year, but how pleased were you with the team's ability to respond to that and just not let that get to them? Yeah, I mean, listen, you knew they were going to make a run, and, and they made a couple at us. And, um, you know, I, I thought we handled that pretty well by being able to, to get stops when we needed them and then make enough plays. You know, I thought Mayor late, you know, made, made just big-time plays to be able to keep that distance, that double-figure distance. Um, you know, we didn't do everything perfect in terms of, um, you know, their pressure and turning it over and things like that. But um, she, with the ball in her hand, she was steady late and, and made a couple of big time shots. Would you mind talking a bit more about what this win means to you and the team, especially after um, your earlier loss to um, NC earlier in the season? Yeah, I mean, listen, we, we, we played them twice every year. You know, I think that goes away next year. but. Um, they're one of the best programs in our league and one of the best programs in, in the country um, every year. It, it's, it's, you know, it's hard to play them. They're very well prepared. Um, they're very talented. Um, they play well together. Um, so whenever you, you know, lose to a team, certainly there's um, you know, a desire to try and win. If you get a second chance to try and win. Um, and, and so our group was excited for another opportunity to play against them. Um, and it, it feels good to be able to, to even, you know, even the season series. Uh, Coach, when you look at the way Reagan started, you know, with her, how she was shooting early on in the first quarter especially, uh, T, how she finished the game, the passing and the paint, it, it felt like this group really had one of their, like, had some really highs offensively. Did you feel kind of that offensive growth in this game, especially against a team like NC State? Yeah, I mean, I think I see and and feel offensive growth, growth really daily with them. Um, they're figuring out how to navigate situations and how to create opportunities for one another um, and try to become a better passing team is something we've emphasized with them. Like, you know, attack and be aggressive. And if it's not there, you know, get off the ball and, and make a good, accurate pass to your teammates so they can do something good with it, whether it's shoot it or finish it in the lane. And um, so all of our guards have grown in that uh, throughout the course of the year. And, um, you know, yeah, Reagan that has the ability to get going. You know, I feel like at any moment, as long as, um, you know, she's playing at the right pace, um, she's somebody that can score and she's very athletic and strong. Um, and so her starting off the game well, I think, just gave our whole group confidence. Congratulations again, Coach Lawson. Um, you're known for famously telling your team to handle hard better. How do you think the girls have followed up on this as they've embarked on one of the toughest schedules in the ACC this season? I mean, for our group, we just embraced what what our schedule was. I mean, we had um, a really tough non-conference schedule. I think we have the highest strength of schedule of, of any team in the ACC. And um, if we don't, we're second. I mean, we played the hard, one of the harder schedules non-conference and conference. And what I, what I said about it to our players is like, this is how you measure yourself. Like, you want to play the top teams. You, you want to play the hard games um, because that's where it's really revealing about where you are. You know, it tells you where you are when you play a really hard team. And it reveals where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are and where you need to grow. 
if you're playing bad teams, it's not revealing what what you need to, to improve on. So we just we wanted to challenge ourselves, and I think they've handled these challenges really well. Got time for a couple more questions. I think Kara Kennedy went out of the way a, a couple of times to talk about how good the scout was going in the game. How Dick had a really good feel for where State was going to be, or what they were trying to run, whether they were going to do it, all that sort of thing. Can you address that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think just before every game, um, you know, our assistant coaches do a great job of preparing our team and um, just try to alert them of what what we think they'll run and how we're going to defend it. Obviously, there's a scheme part associated with that as well, and um, it's good they listen. And when they listen and they execute it, and a lot of times it does work pretty well. Um, but I, I think their um, <laughs> their ability to they being the players, their ability to consume a scout and then apply it is like way improved, if that makes sense. Like they would get the scout early in the year and they're not consuming it as well. They were studying it, but I, I just, I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but like, you know, you're, you're consuming it and like you're able to apply it. So now like it's just more, they know what they're doing as a team, the group, especially the young players, where in the beginning, it just probably looked like a foreign language to them of what it was. And they were like maybe memorizing what was going on, but they didn't understand like how to apply that to their game in the game. And now they're able to do that. And that's part of the growth of like a young team is now they get the scout and it's like, oh, and then they're out there and they're like, oh, you know, like you can see them understanding it and anticipating and their communication is different. Most of my freshmen didn't talk hardly at all in the beginning. Now they're calling plays, plays out. Now they're calling scheme. Now they're doing that. And that's just the maturation, you know, of a group. And so I think their ability, I think, I think the scouts have been good <laughs> all year, you know. I think the ability to apply it um, for, for our young, young players has, has improved a ton. Any more questions for Coach Lawson? All right, thanks, everybody.